What's up guys? How's it going? Gonna teach you a song today. It's called Champion by Maverick City Music, Upper Room, Brandon Lake. All that amazing collaboration stuff going on um, with those guys. So originally it was by Bethel, um, I think Dante Bo. I actually did a lesson on this one maybe five or six months ago. It's gonna be in the same, so both songs, the one Bethel and Dante Bo sing, as well as this one, they're gonna be in the same key. So um, kind of just doing the same lesson over again, but I did wanna just show you a couple things in this lesson that I didn't do in the other one. So um, so anyways, it's in the key of B flat. So basically that just means we put our capo on the third fret here. So one, two, three, and then we play uh, the G's, C, E minor, and the D. So really for this song, there's just there's mainly just four chords. We, we can add some passing chords in there if we want to, you know, uh, make it a little bit, um, I don't know, more flowy, but we can definitely get away with just four chords. So um, let me just show you the chords we need for this one. So the verse is going to be G to the E minor to the D to the C. So if you're new and you need help with some of these chords or you're just like picking up the guitar for the first time and you need like some help on these chords, like where my fingers are going and like which string they're going on, I'll do a, I'll put a lesson up top and, and down below just showing you where your fingers should be going, which strings you should be strumming because you don't want to be strumming the wrong strings and have it sound like that. So. Um, if you need help, take a look at some of those and then just let me know if you have any questions um, or anything like that. So um, so the main thing I want to make sure we can do in this song is just kind of do some finger picking because this version, the Maverick City Music one, it's just kind of nice and got that nice little flow, nice softer beginning. So I'm gonna show you the finger picking pattern. I do, um, if you've been watching me for a little while, if you've seen my lessons, I've got a lesson called finger pick like a worship leader with just three fingers. And that's the exact pattern guys we're using for this song too. So it's just gonna be the start on the G. To the E minor. To the D. So what am I doing? I'm just going thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. That's it, four times on each chord. And then to the, so it would sound like this. I've tried so hard to see it. So long to believe it. That you choose someone like Carry your victory. So you kind of got to speed it up a little bit, otherwise you get kind of, you know, bogged down there. But um, so it's basically just yeah, thumb pointer, thumb middle, and then I just always add in an extra pointer and a thumb, so or a thumb pointer. D chord, C-shaped D chord here. Back to the regular C. And I keep getting this song a little bit confused with Brandon Lake's song, Gratitude, which is literally the same chord progression. And it's almost like, it's basically the same key. I think that one is in the key of B, this is B flat. So if you go back and listen to it, I think it's like, and all my words fall short. I've got nothing new Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Oh my gratitude. So it's literally just that same pattern. Um, so you can do that pattern for the verse, for the intro, for the verse one, verse two. You can even do it for the chorus, which I'll show you here. Let's get into the chorus. We'll start with just some down strums. You are my champion. So G to the E minor. Giants fall when you stand under C. Feed it. Every E minor you've D. And then repeat. I am who you say I am. You crown me with confidence. I am seated in the heavenly place undefeated with the one who has conquered it all. Now I can finally goes into um, verse 3. And I think that's where maybe uh, I think Marianne George starts kicking it up into a high gear. Um, so you can do the finger picking on that. It's going to be the same exact thing. You are my champion. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you've won. I am who you say I am You crown me with confidence I am seated In the heavenly place undefeated To the one who has conquered it all So you can do it that way if you wanted to let me just i don't i don't like to complicate things but i'm gonna kind of complicate them just a little bit here you can add i mentioned passing chords um earlier in the video so in the lesson so you can do um some just some passing chords on this chorus if you want to uh so it could be like this you are my champion d to the e minor Giants fall when you, G over B or G, stand undefeated. Every battle you've won, I am who you say I am. You crown me with confidence, I'm seated in the heavenly place. So we're not doing a ton, but we are adding in a, just a couple of chords there, passing chords. So it's just on the first two lines. You are my champion. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you So if you wanted to add those in there, you definitely could. Um, just, you know, if you need a little bit of a strum pattern, I would just, for this song, once you get going, if you're going to finger pick the first couple verses, if you're going to finger pick the first chorus, for for the verse three, when, the, when it kind of starts picking up a little bit, and then chorus two, and then obviously the, the, the bridge, I would just do a, just a simple... Just down, up, down, up, nice and smooth. So what would sound like verse three would sound like this. Now I can, you're teaching me how to receive it. So let all the strife. 
that'll go into the bridge um but you know you can you i would just if you're a beginner i would start off with that and just kind of go nice and slow until you get a little bit more rhythm you you see and feel and hear where the song is going and you add just a little bit maybe more maybe an extra upstrom or a little bit more rhythmic now i can That even might be the the next strum pattern for you it's the so it's down down up down up 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 so down down up down up down down up down up down 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 up down up Maybe try that. That might kind of give you a little bit of an idea as to what you can do there, strumming-wise. And then we get to the interlude um, before the bridge. It's going to be the same chords um, as the bridge. So I'm just going to go into the bridge. The bridge is going to be C. When I lift my voice and shout. So C, D, E minor. And every wall comes. You can do a D here. Crashing down to the G, or you could do a D over F sharp, adding that bass note there. Uh, every wall comes crashing down, and I have the authority. D. Jesus has given me when I open up my mouth. That's more or less the bridge. Let me just kind of walk through that one more time. So we're going C. When I lift my voice, D and E minor, every wall comes crashing, D to the G, down, and I have the authority to the D. Jesus has given me. When I open up my mouth, miracles start breaking out. I have the authority. Jesus has given me. So you can just maybe hold that D at the end there, or if you wanted to just add that G in as you repeat the bridge. Um, yeah, but I think like that's more or less it. You just I think on on this version in particular, we ripped that bridge four, five, six, seven times, and it's just beautiful and amazing. So you're just gonna keep rolling on that chord progression for the bridge, and then eventually it goes back into the chorus, which we know. Um, so I think that's a that's a good wrap. That's a good breakdown of what's going on in this song. And again, I did another lesson on this, the Dante Bow and Bethel version. So I don't know, you may want to just cross check that, double check that, see if I included some stuff in there that I didn't in this one. But I think this is going to help you guys out. 
Um, if you have questions, you know, just leave a comment. Let me know what you're struggling with, what you're confused with. I love connecting with you guys here and, and helping you out. Um, make sure if you're new, you, you head on over to the community tab um, on my channel. I've got some encouragement over there, some, some Bible verses of the week I post each week, some encouragement, a uh, little blog style stuff on there, some live stream updates, subscriber giveaways and raffles. So I'd love if you, if you just kind of slid over there and said hello. Let me know your name, where you're from, how long you've been playing, and uh, I'd love to just connect with you. So that's a wrap, you guys. Love you. Have a good day. Have a good week, and I'll catch you in the next one.